Hey guys, how's it going? Just thought I'd show you a 77 green light here. It's Firebird. It's from the Smokey and the Bandit box set there in the tin. She's a pretty sweet looking car. Very, very nice. I was looking for the Hot Wheels uh, retro, but uh, this was far better way to go for price anyway. And it, uh, I don't know if it's going to focus. It says Band 1, like Bandit 1. Pretty cool car, highly detailed. It's got a low number on this one, uh, 332. Very nice car. Anyway, I got a package in the mail today. Uh, a bunch of trucks, and I didn't like how the unboxing went because they were they were a little dirty and didn't show very well. So I thought I'd just clean them up and then show it. So here's my Smokey and the Bandit Firebird. Anyway, I'll bring out the first truck, a little Kenworth cab over, and it's uh, carrying a trailer full of Moosehead beer. Anyway, the trailers are pretty nice. They're uh, Matchbox Ultras, and it's uh, metal metal casting. It's got plastic parts, like this little piece is plastic, and uh, the axles are plastic, but the rest of it's metal. So take a look at the matchbox truck here that comes with it. Pretty nice. Rubber tires. They all got rubber tires. Pretty nice little piece. I don't know if my phone will pick it up. I got it backwards. There you go. Kenworth. Doesn't say too much more other than made in China. Groovy. So we'll put that back together. Give you a little side view of it. Pretty cool truck. Pretty cool indeed. So we'll just put him back in line there and we'll pull out the next one. And this one, another Kenworth. Beautiful looking truck. It's hauling Corona. And the, all the doors on these open. Nothing inside them. You can put whatever you want in there, I suppose. If you look at the truck on this one, Kenworth Aerodyne, pretty detailed rims, they roll pretty good too, pretty nice. If you look at the, the trailer here, long necks, Corona, extra, they taste pretty good on a hot day. <coughs> Anyway, there's truck number two. I don't know if you can see the Corona badge on the truck, but yeah, they all kind of match each other, so it's pretty cool. Here's truck number three, the Miller Genuine Draft truck. This one came uh, with a broken axle that I got to glue back on, and a broken mirror on the driver's side which just snaps back in a little bit of glue that should be fine too but I'm showing them uh, pretty much as they were just cleaned up so there's a look at the trailer which is pretty nice it's got a reefer on it pretty cool nice black and shiny oh yeah look at that baby beautiful rig mm-hmm Nice badging on the sides. Pretty happy to get this one. Actually, this is the truck that I wanted the most out of them. Well, second most. You guys will see the one I want the most coming up. Put her back together. Sand in on its way. Now, oh, here comes old Buford. This is another car out of that uh, Smokey and the Bandit set, which is pretty cool. I've seen lots of showings of this car, so we won't dwell on it too much. It's more or less about the trucks anyway. So this next one here is the is the one I wanted badly. I bought the whole lot because of it. It's the Paps truck. So 
trailers are all basically the same with just different paint jobs and the trucks you get some variations you get different kinds of trucks and different models another beautiful beautiful truck I like these things quite a bit and I got a good price on them too I think it costs just about as much to ship them as it did to buy the lot so I'm pretty happy about that <coughs> excuse me give you a better look at the trailer <clears throat> yeah they're decorated both sides so that's pretty cool and then the next truck this is the honey brown logger it's got a neat uh, neat paint job to it kind of like the old the old trucks you used to see running up and down the road this one here is a Mac there you go Mac CH 600 it's a pretty nice looking truck too these things are, are pretty flimsy so guys got to be kind of careful when you're bending them back trying to get them straightened out but it's just a nice detail maybe if you look at the side there maybe look at the back very cool I want to thank uh, all my new subscribers. It's pretty cool. Appreciate everybody watching and commenting. I do read them. Sometimes I don't get back for a couple days, but I try to get back to everybody. And here is a Ford. Now, what kind of Ford is this? A Ford Aeromax. I'd like to say, ooh, beautiful truck, but uh, it just doesn't do it for me. Still nice though, very cool. Nothing against them. It's just uh, I like Kenworth and Peterbilts. There we go. Freightliners are nice too, I suppose. Some Volvos. Here's a trailer for this one. You are your own dog. Red Dog Beer. I don't believe they make this stuff anymore because it was not very good anyway. But a cool trailer. I do remember it being quite the fad in uh, Canada anyway, back a long time ago. It's even got some paw prints on the top, pretty neat. So yeah guys, there's my haul. I got six of them and uh, the Smokey and the Bandits I had for quite a while, I just had them put away. And these are the stands that the trucks came on. You can see how dirty everything was, they were just kind of... He said they were put on a shelf and just kind of left there. Must have been in a garage or something, but they cleaned up pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with them. Definitely don't see anything wrong with them other than that broken axle and, and the mirror, but that's not a big deal. Pretty minor for such a cool lot of trucks. But thanks again, guys, for watching and subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, enjoy this hobby quite a bit. And hope you guys have good luck looking for stuff that you guys are looking for. I know Tex Tanner, he's uh, big into trucks, so maybe he'll get a kick out of this one. Thanks, guys.